Hey guys, it's Christabel here and welcome to my channel. Yeah, it is a Sunday morning and I thought, why not make a new video? So, uh, this video is about, actually, something I think you might be interested in. Uh, I am a student at the University of Brighton studying Biomedical Sciences and I'm in my second year. And about a few weeks ago, I was asked, "What, like, what? What is the University of Brighton about? And particularly, what is biomedical sciences at the University of Brighton like?" So, I, I came to Brighton in two thousand and sixteen, uh, September, but classes properly started around October, and. I have been doing biomedical sciences, so so I was going to be like, okay, let me explain a bit about what it is. According to the University of Brighton website, I don't know if you can see that there, yeah, so it has changed a little bit since I was in first year, but I'm just going to use this to help you guys out. So what is biomedical sciences so basically it's a course that is uh, studying about human health and disease right and you're learning how to be a professional biomedical sciences scientist um it is a three-year course four years if you're doing a placement year i'm doing the three-year course and basically each year you're building up your knowledge towards a biomedical sciences degree and the difference between the University of Brighton and a number of universities is that this course is accredited meaning that you are already validated to continue in order to become a biomedical scientist you don't have to do any top up courses or anything like that which is a bonus I didn't even know that when I came so there you go um, Okay, so let's begin with the entry requirements. Okay, I came from Ireland, so the entry requirements are completely different to what it would be for people who are studying here in the UK. So I will give you the UK requirements, but if you do want to know the actual entry requirements for your country, whether it is Ireland or another part of the world, you can check it on the university website. Just write University of Brighton Biomedical Sciences in the Google search engine, you'll be able to find it from there. It'll show uh, a bar that says international equivalencies. Type in your country, it should show up. So, the A level or B tech requirements, I think those are two different. Um, so the A level requirement is between BBC to CCC. So that is a uh, UCAS tariff points of like 112 to 100 uh, to 96 points. And then the BTEC extended diploma, as it says here, is DMM to MMM. <laughs> so um, you usually are supposed to have two sciences, prefer preferably biology and chemistry. It is very helpful. I tell you now, it is helpful. Um, but if you don't have biology or uh, chemistry at A level, you must have the subject at AS level with a minimum grade of C. So I hope this actually makes sense to you guys. But you could also look at it on the website so it helps out. Okay, And then they also show some other qualifications that you can have in order to get in. So, what is year one biomedical sciences? So, for me, it was a tad bit different, but it's changed now. So I'm going to give you the newest version of what it is at the moment. So for year one, it's basically kind of giving you that foundation of what biomedical sciences is, you know? So the modules include things like essential skills for biosciences, which scientists, which is um, getting that analytical skills that you'll need 
in order to carry out being a biomedical scientist. Introductions to genetics and molecular biology, which is the study of inheritance and basically knowing things on knowing things about the human body on a molecular level. Uh, introduction to biochemistry and bioanalytical techniques, which is cool. The introduction to human physiology. That was a really good subject. Uh, still doing it now. Different system. Uh, introduction to infection sciences and then introduction to biomedical sciences. So that's the modules for year one. I'll give you the year two modules just to help out. So it'd be like research and skills and professional development, infection and immunity, diet and disease and health, molecular cell uh, biology, genetics and genomics, human biochemistry and metabolism, that type of thing. And then there's the placement year. It's an optional year. But it is helpful if you do want to become a biomedical sciences scientist. So it'll be basically that you can opt out for one year where you're able to do work placement in the hospital or in an industrial or research laboratory. So the great thing about doing a placement year in the hospital is that you're able to be on your way to register to become a biomedical scientist. So you're able to create that portfolio that's required in order to become one. So it's a helpful thing to have if you do want to be a biomedical scientist. Um, so, year three, or year four, if you're doing the placement year. So basically, uh, year four, as it says here, it's kind of a way to focus on the clinical aspects of biomedical sciences. So you're going to be doing a different range of modules and also you'll be doing project work and a dissertation, which is quite cool, you know, a bit of work, but of course, with every thing that you do, you're going to have to work hard for it. So the modules include blood sciences, cell uh, pathology, uh, clinical immunology and microbiology, the biology experimental project, and then innovations in bioscience research, which sounds really cool. I'm not in third year yet, so I'm just hearing this now. This looks really, <laughs> this looks really awesome. Um, so that's really cool in that sense. And then also the careers m employability. I know people hear um, things about biomedical sciences they're like oh what can I do afterwards you know there's a lot of things you could do afterwards which I think is really cool um you can be a biomedical scientist in the NHS some people do progress on to graduate entry medicine they want to do that which is cool um also postgraduate degrees like masters or PhDs where they're able to specialize into something that they were interested in or are interested in um and also, they can work towards an academic career if they wished, or if I wish to, you know, which wrong. And then, okay, fees and funding. So, if you are a UK or EU student, the uh, amount is nine thousand two hundred and fifty as of two thousand and seventeen. If you are an international full time student, then it's fourteen thousand. And 40 pounds. So if you're a UK or an EU student, there are funds available from student finance, which can help with the cost. Of course, if you are a UK student, there is also a maintenance fund. If you're from EU, then no, maintenance load, you're, you don't get included for that. Um, so location. Let's talk about Brighton. I really do love Brighton. I think it's a beautiful place. You know, it is just right in between the hustle and bustle of what London is to a very quiet area. I feel like it's just right in the middle, right? Perfect for me anyway, because I come from Ireland. It's very similar in that sense, which I found really nice. 
so I didn't feel that type of culture shock, which kind of helped. <laughs> um, then of course, accommodation, which was a big one. Um, oh, so basically there are uh, accommodation available for students. So they have one in Falmer, Grand Parade, Mold School, and Verley Park. Verley Park, I believe, has the most numbers of accommodation. Uh, but if you do want to find more information about it, it is on the website. Or you can actually come to an open day, which happens a number of times throughout the year. So you can find out more about it. Or if you do decide to come here, then there is an applicant day also, if you do apply here. And to apply to university in the UK, the closing date is somewhere in January. So, yeah, about January. The dates are there if you check it on the internet. And then that's mainly for people who are applying to courses that are not medicine. So meaning that biomedical sciences, January time is the application date. Close for UCAS. So do try to get your application on time. The great thing about Brighton is that you're near the seafront, which is really nice, I think. Um, being able to see <laughs> the seagulls, the pebble beaches, um, especially in the summertime when it's very nice and warm. Um, also, the city centre is actually really nice. I, You can go to places like Churchill Square, do your shopping if you wish, what's on the road. There's quite a lot to do. Brighton, which is really nice. Um, let's see. Ninetin. I think I've named most of the things that are going on, actually. Oh, let's see, let's see the forget anything. I think I've. Oh, this is the. This is another one. The great thing about doing a biomedical sciences degree is the fact there is a guaranteed interview scheme. Now, not many universities have things like this. The idea is that if you were to fulfill a certain amount of criteria, there would be an opportunity to transfer into the first year of medicine after your first year or after your third year. So, I will find the requirements for that now. Let's see if I can find them. Because usually, you can't find them on this, so. Okay, found it. So, it says, entry requirements after the first year. So that's after year one. So you need a GCSC, grade B or equivalent in maths and English. So that would be the equivalent, the GCSE is equivalent to the junior cert in Ireland. So, so um, and if English is not your first language, so you need to have an overall IELTS score of seven, or with at least a seven in all sections. And then to have AAA at A level, obtained in one sitting in both biology and chemistry. Um, also, they did say that neither general studies or critical thinking are acceptable. So be aware of that when you're choosing your subject choices. Um, so, and if you took the international baccalaureate, I didn't take that, so <laughs> uh, you need something like a 36 overall uh, with a grade six in higher level chemistry and biology. And then to have excellent term one class attendance on record and a 70% average in all modules in first year. Now, if you do want to apply for that, there will be an avenue for it to be able to do graduate entry medicine. Uh, to do, I said graduate entry medicine, no, no. To do the guaranteed interview scheme, okay? But it is a five year course. It's five, it's not four, it's five. So meaning that if you were to go into your first year, you'd complete your first year, of biomedical sciences that start in first year 
of medicine. Now, if you were to apply after the final year, meaning after third year or after fourth year, if you had done a placement year, for example, then the requirements are totally different. So you need the GCSE grade B, equivalent maths or English. It's true. If English isn't your first language, then the IELTS score of 7.5 with at least a 7.0 in all sections, 70% average in all second year modules on average. Then you'd need to take the BMAT test just like you'd have to do in first year in, if you're going after year one. Then make the application. Do not forget to make the application 15th of October and then show evidence of healthcare related work experience and also show that in your UCAS uh, statement and also have really good attendance, 80%, which is important. So make sure you do try your absolute best to go to all your lectures. It's important. They do say that your grades correlate to your attendance. So if you go to lectures, you're more likely to understand, more likely to understand what the lecturer actually wants you to know which is important. Oh, another thing is that recently they have just established Biomedical Sciences BSc Honours with a Foundation Year. This is a great opportunity for students who did not actually get the appropriate grades for the A-level or equivalent, or for somebody who has been out of basically the environment of study in the first place and uh, wants to get the knowledge and foundations to be able to do a biomedical sciences degree. Um, I think it's a great way to be able to continue and get to where you want to be and especially if it's what you really want to do. So that would mean that with the foundation year you'd end up be doing four years. And then if you do the placement year, then it would be five. So, another question that I've been asked is, why did I pick a biomedical sciences degree? Like, with all the science degrees I could have picked, why that? It was mainly because it was human focused. You know, I felt like I be able to get a real foundational knowledge that I really wanted to learn in. You know, it's important to study a degree that you really do want to learn. So, I also thought that uh, it would be a great way to continue my studies in order to further my career along later on. So, that's why I picked biomedical sciences. You know, I think it's a great option to go for. So, I think I've actually answered all the questions that I can think of anyway. So if you guys have any other questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them in the comment section below. Give it a like, subscribe, do this, okay. <laughs> or no, just leave a shout out and hopefully I'll be able to answer your questions. So yeah, I've really, enjoyed my time on the biomedical, uh, biomedical sciences course and I think it's awesome and I really thought that it would be awesome to do a video on biomedical sciences considering I'm studying it and I am the course rep for it second year. So thanks guys.